Hello everyone and welcome back to Calmlands. This is the multiplayer co-op with Nordic Farming and we've reached episode number 63. We are getting the trucks ready for selling this morning because it's December and it's the best sell price for wheat and canola. So we're going to set this chap to pick up from the farm silo and go to the sell point which is the co-op co sell, the cooperative. And we're going to be selling canola and we want to sell all of it so we'll keep him as infinite journeys and set him off so he's going to pick up from the farm silo deposit at the sell point and canola because we have quite a lot in store so we'll hop out and leave them to it nordic is doing the same but for wheat and if we take a look we can see we've got 675,000 liters of wheat and 372,000 litres of canola. And the best sell price is, well, January for wheat and December for canola. So not too far off. Should yield a good price for both. Awesome stuff. And in the meantime, I am going to grab a tractor and we're going to go buy another spreader. Because as mentioned previously, it is on to field prep time. So which tractor should we go for? I think we'll go JCB this time because it is nice and pacey. And we'll go buy another spreader. And that's because it's field prep and lime time. We've got three fields to lime to get them ready for drilling. And Nordic is using the newest truck, the Man Agri Truck, to get the Auger Master filled with lime and get that to a suitable place that we can reload from and we'll pull into the dealership and buy our second spreader so this is what we want the amazon zgts 10001 it can take 18,500 liters spread 42 meters wide and it's going to cost us 85,000. so not too bad there we go, we'll get it hitched up and we might as well fill it up with lime whilst we are here. So we want this section, I think it's this one, and we should be able to get the lime filled in here. There we go, and it fills up quite nicely. So we're going to start with Lake View Field, which is now our second biggest field thanks to the extension we did last time. And then of course we will have to lime up the extension that we ploughed to South Bank Field. Aha, I think this is one of our first drivers coming with a load. We'll get out of their way so we don't crash into each other. So that looks to be canola in the back. And then ah, this is our auger driver who's come to pick up lime. There we go. So they are busy bustling and are saving us some time. Oh crikey, I think I can hear a third coming. There we go, it's a traffic jam this morning as the auto drivers get busy to work. And there's our wheat going for sale. So yeah, you can see the money pouring in already, which is good. And then a little bit's going to be coming back out for some lime purchases. But that's all good. Here we go, so Nordic is ready and waiting. I think he's got this filled with lime already, so we'll fall in behind him. So Lakeview is looking a little bit low on the pH, so we need to get that topped up with lime, as is Lakeside Field. So that we'll be doing that afterwards. And then over to South Bank, where we've got our new big extension down in the south here. So we will be liming all three fields. So Nordic is getting started. We will adjust the width accordingly. And precision farming going to be helping us out here so we don't waste too much. And obviously our systems are in sync. So where Nordic has sprayed, we don't need to spray and it will work it all out for us, which is pretty good. So we're going to get all three fields limed up and we'll see you when we're all done.
And there we are. So we have limed all three fields, South Bank being our last and biggest field. And we had a portion which was ploughed last time that took quite a lot of lime, but not too much considering. And the auger master down the bottom there near the trees had to reload one time. So that went back up to the cell area and had to go pick up another volume of lime, which is quite substantial. So it did take a little time, but we're done with the liming now. So we'll go back to the yard, park up, wash up, service up, and then it's on to drilling. And Nordic and I are probably going to drill South Bankfield first. And the idea is we're going to drill soybeans as that's going to be a big cash crop field. Now, we don't need too much by way of crops. We have got quite a lot of crops in storage of different types. And we've got all the bits we need for pig food. So that's good. And you might have noticed that the bank account is looking very healthy now as we've made a cool amount of money from all of our wheat and canola sales. But let's get this washed, serviced, parked up and then we can get on to some drilling with the seed hawks. Okay, so we've got the spreaders parked off. So we need to get the auger wagons set up ready for drilling and I don't want to get in the way of one of our workers who is still selling wheat. There is a hell of a lot. Okay, so we have got the seed auger. I think that's probably going to be good. That's 75% full. So what we need to do is just send this chap over to South Bank Weight 1 and then we can get on with grabbing the seed hawks. And we'll jump in the fence, drop off the plough which we used last time to plough up the extension of South Bank Field. I think we'll grab a front weight so we've got a good amount of traction on the front. Let me just check which weight is for the fent. There we go, we've got one weight so that's good. Let's go pick up the seed hawk. Okay, we'll pick up this first set of seed hawk and air cart. There we go. And let's set it as soybeans before we forget. Okay, we've got a good amount of seed and fertilizer in there already, which is pretty good. Right, Nordic is ready as well. And we'll have to wait to inspect how much money we've made from our crops because we are still selling the wheat, but all the canola is sold. So we can crack on with drilling our first field and check in on that later. And yes, it looks like well, one of our auto drivers is driving on down to South Bank. I think topped up with solid fertilizer, which is good. And there's one of our auto drivers coming back to sell more wheat. So it is busy and bustling on Calm Farm today. Lots of sales, lots of liming, and now on to drilling. Right, we've made it so we can pivot our way around here and get unfolded. We will tidy up what we are driving over now on the return run. So let's get this beast unfolded. There we go. So we can switch on, lower away, start drilling our soybeans. And the good thing about soybeans is we are only going to be using up seed. Soybeans do not take fertilizer on precision farming, so that is a bonus and it's going to save us a good amount of money. So that's another reason why soybeans are very profitable. They sell for a good price and with precision farming they don't use any fertilizer, so save a good amount of money there. Right, Nordic and I are going to get this newly extended and our largest field, South Bank field, all drilled. And we'll see you when we're all done.
What is this doing? I'm stuck on reverse. What? A few minutes later. Manual gear shifting is not doing anything. A little longer than a few minutes later. What is this doing? Hold it up. And that was a big job drilling soybeans in South Bank Field, our largest field now that it's been extended. So quite an operation, but luckily we had enough seed to see us through the whole field. But if we did a crop other than soybeans, we probably or most certainly would have had to top up the fertilizer midway through. Nordic and I are now going to refill from the auger wagons and lake side field is the next field we're going to be drilling and we're going to drill canola so we'll get that selected i'll try not to drive in the poplar because we don't want to damage it there we go canola selected and this is a uh, slightly odd field now in terms of shape south bank it loops all the way around this road here and goes up to meet a border with cowman field and nordic and i have talked about extending even further merging cowman and south bank but we'll see how we get on in the future right let's head up to the top of the hill uh reload fertilizer and seed from the auger wagons and then we can drill up lakeside field with canola drop the air cart off Drop the drill off. Reattach the air car and open up the hatches. Now I think it's seed for the first two bins. There we go. And fertilizer for the last compartment. Oh, overshot it. There we go. Drop the air cart off. Reattach the drill. Reattach the air cart. And there we go. Quite an operation, but we are refilled. Time to unfold again. And we'll follow Nordic's lead on this first headland. Now we did do rows in South Bank Field side to side because we didn't want to have to go against the hill on rows up and down so yep yeah, we might have to deploy the same tactic in this field but we will see so let's switch on the air cart has spooled up we can lower down if i select the right tool there we go and start drilling so we'll follow nordic down the hill 
He's just said that it's going to chew through fertilizer. And yep, looks like it's adding a lot of fertilizer. Wow. We'll see how we get on. But we'll get this drilled and see you when we're finished. go just tidied up the last little sliver and that's the canola nicely drilled in and that's two fields covered by nordic and i so nice to have our southerly most fields drilled one with soybeans and one with canola and they're both going to be cash crops which is pretty good now of course we are going to have to drill more fields because we've got more fields that are harvested and now ready to re-drill and that's going to span into next time so i think nordic and i are just going to park the seed hawks over by and near the cow farm because cow man field is going to be the next we drill don't know what crop we're going to do we could maybe do canola again so we've got a large field of soybeans south bank field and then we've got two smaller fields although they're still fairly big with canola in and then yes we've got a good amount of both crop types got to make sure I don't whack any of the trees on my way through this forest oh yeah there we go I have done so and now Nordic has crashed into me so yes always a little bit tricky using and maneuvering this bigger equipment there we go we are free but yet yeah, we can leave the workers out here with they're all go wagons. We can move them at the start of next session to top up with seed and fertilizer. We did use quite a lot of fertilizer on that canola field, lakeside field, but that's quite all right because we can always send them back to fetch more, which is the beauty of having our AI workers. So I think the plans for the future are potentially canola in cowman field. We'll see. Let us know your thoughts. And then Nordic and I are thinking that we'll have to do some planting as well. And we'll probably put corn in pig farm field to the left. So we've got a forage harvest to do in the future. And that can go in the fermenting silo. And then that can be used to top up the BGA. Which has no longer got any silage in there processing. Because we've churned through it all. Right, I think we can park our drills and tractors here in readiness for next time so yet no cleaning up or servicing we will just be cracking on with drilling next time so that's pretty good and there we go so i hope you have enjoyed watching if you have remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already check out nordic's channel for his perspective of today's session and if you've got any tips, tricks or things you'd like us to do, feel free to leave a comment. But that's all for now on Calmlands and look forward to seeing you again next time. Cheers all. Bye bye.